I saw a need in the community. We saw a need in the community, and uh, we wanted to extend our hand and do that. What we can do. It's the reason for the season. A local group is giving back to the community in a big way. And what started out as an effort to hand out coats to homeless shelters grew into a much bigger way to give back. Yeah, our Courtney Gonfrey is with us now. And Courtney, they've, they're have they out handing winter clothes and warm meals and even helping those who need to find jobs. Yeah, that's right, Tim. 900 came through the door last year, and they hope to double that number this time around. Their goal? To provide a day of hope and dignity to as many people as they can. We have coats, and we have um, sleeping bags, and we have hygiene. Where there's a need. There's just so much to offer here. It's just like a one-stop shop. There's a volunteer aiming to fill it. People have really rallied and taken the opportunities that they've been given to to give, whether it's their time, their money, their talents, and um, just really make this a great event. Coming together for the 3,000 Acts of Kindness event, now in its 11th year. I saw a need in the community, we saw a need in the community, and uh, we wanted to extend our hand and do that what we can do. Danielle Igbanigo founding the Day of Giving after a chance encounter with someone in need left her yearning to help. The effort growing exponentially in that time, going from just her and her family handing out warm clothes at shelters to a ballroom filled with donations. That's where it all started, and it's just grown into being able to offer lots of things to the, to the clients. So it's pretty exciting to see the growth. Not only will those who show up to the Minneapolis Convention Center Monday get a warm meal and all the essentials, they'll have access to around 40 social services as well from free haircuts to job and housing assistance. Igbanigo crediting her faith as the driving force behind it all. We're able to um, be the hands and feet of Jesus, and that's, what, that's why we were here, to show love, respect, and, and to offer hope. The giving will take place tomorrow at the Minneapolis Convention Center from 9 until 3.